And that's how we ride. The yes. queen is here. Uh, the queen Sarah is Lee. here. <laughs> Hello, good people, yes. Sierra Leone and Africa. Yeah. We're here to bring you good tidings. Yeah. To say peace and development to the continent of Africa, Africa. the country of Sierra Leone. Oh my, you are I the take my seat, seat now. Take <laughs> seat now. The queen and the prince is here. <laughs> Be careful, please. Be careful. I will fix it. Yes, you will know. It's going to sell. <laughs> From the outside, the Sierra Leone National Railway Museum holds no appeal. It looks just like uh, any other random building. You'd almost miss it. But just a few meters away from the first university in West Africa, the Furabe College, is the National Railway Museum of Sierra Leone. Come inside and I will show you what it has to offer. Welcome to the Sierra Leone National Railway Museum. And to take us in there and tell us everything we need to know about this beautiful historical place is Mr. Introduce yourself, sir. Mr. Mohammed Jabi. Mr. Mohammed Jabi. So, Mr. Mohammed, yeah. tell us. Let's go. Let's go. You most heartily welcome as I could tell how much a hard time you had gone in this afternoon in Thank order you. to find road music. Thank you. You are most sir. heartily welcome. Thank you. And I hope you could help us to carry the message far and wide. Definitely. Your That's message. why we are making the video. So, uh, before yeah. you gain an entrance in the music, you have some steps that you could take. Yeah. And then here is for the disabled people, as you could see referred to here. Okay. So we are in this is very, walk, very um, sensitive and inclusive. So this yes. part is for physically challenged persons. Yeah. And here is for it's people who can people walk can on their feet. On yeah. Very inclusive. Yes. Thank you, Sierra Leone government. All right. So you will gain an entrance, as my colleague have just told you. Mm -hmm. uh, we we'll have the procedure here before gaining an entrance here. But okay. I think you have discussed that with the my, procedure. My, my guy here. Okay. So as you the come in at the entrance, here is the procedure for what goes on here, the yeah. protocol, if you like. Yeah. But I've been put through the protocol, so let's go. Right. And that before we gain an entrance. I would like you to have a look here and see how the railway was traveling in the colonial days uh, when they constructed the track from here in the depot here, Freetown here, mm -hmm. onto Pendembu, which is the last train station in the country, 227 miles away, during the operation of the trains in colonial days. And that was the main line. Along that main line, there was a brand line which connected at Baya Junction onto Makeni. If you have a look here, you would see Baya Junction onto Makeni. And also in the colonial day, we are having the mountain railways, which was running right in the city here in Freetown, which is called the mountain railway. If you have a look here, you will see from Water Street, it goes to Hill Station, Hill by Station. the stopping point of it. Yeah. And then we will come in. Uh, I said just now, you've seen our procedure, have a donation box here, which help us to carry the operation of the middle of general okay. like. And that, um, this we are the remains of the railway. Okay. Right. The remains of the, the remains railway. of the railway. Okay. Uh, this was the repairing set in the colonial days when the railway was operating. Okay. And this was the depot. The entire place here that you see was the depot for the railway in the colonial days. The depot. When they closed the railway in 1975, some of these remaining ones that you see was kept in here to serve as a museum. Okay. With the last general manager, who is Richard Norman. He is the one that sets aside some of these important historic uh, relics here to serve as a museum. Okay. But it did not materialize unless the becoming of a British personalist come nearest and that okay. you could see how we found the museum. Um, in 2004, in 2004, we met with a British personnel, his name Colonel Stephen Davis. Okay. to restore some of these rolling stocks as you can see them. Okay. And Colonel Davis is from the International Military and Advisory Training Team. The soldiers who were here after the war to retrain our army. Okay. They are in luck we met with Colonel Davis to do the restoration of these rolling stocks as okay. you can see them today. Okay. That was in 2004. 2004. We found the museum. Okay. And it was officially opening to the public in 2005. 2005. It was an occasion attended with the President of the Republic of Sarajevo, late Al Haji Ahmed Tijan Kaba. 
and a director at the National Rural Museum. Okay. And that when we came in 2004, before ever doing anything, we took some photos of how medicine strolling stocks in here, yes. in a cracker's form, as you could see them here. Mm -hmm. This is how met them in a cracker's form. And the days when these things were running in this country, these three coaches were built for certain people in the colonial days. Uh, this one was for the general managers okay. since uh, 1956 okay. in the colonial days. Okay. That butter painted one was for the governors. The white one? The, this butter painted okay, this one. one. This one. This one was for the governors for the since government. 1930 okay. in those days. Right? Yes. And that you could see the road network of the railway here. Yes. During the time when these things were in operation, uh, this was the main line, the main route of the railway. Yes. From the here. ones in red. Yes. Yeah, the red colored red lines. Red colored, yes. Yeah, shows the track before. The rail tracks. And this from Freetown, it comes to Pendembu, which is Darun, the last train station in the country, 227 mm -hmm. miles away. Okay. Along that main line here, there's a brand line here connected. Here is Bawia. Bawia. On to McKinney. Okay. That was the stop of the transport train that was going out of the city. Okay. And that one is the mining train. Port Loco? Yes, Port Loco, yes. The mining train for the iron ore. Okay. But uh, the, the, the track were different. This, the, the transport train was yours, two feet six inches gate. While the mining train is three feet six. It has to carry heavy load. Heavy load. load. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is how they built the railway. When Sarah Unions met together, they said they had to have trains. They made a proposal and they started the surveying in 1893. Okay. The following years, they started the construction, I could say, systematically, step by step, okay. from one place to another. From the depot here, it goes to Wellington, Wellington, Wellington. Hastings, Hastings, Watlu, Rubenga, Rungeta, on to the last train station in the country, which is 227 miles away. Okay. Right. And here, you will say, the first engineer who came to help us running the railway in Sarah Lune here mm -hmm. is uh, Benjamin Steve with his family here. But I'm sorry, when they closed the railway in 1975, with the remainings of the railway was transferred into a national workshop. At the end of the national workshop, the place has become divided into different, different categories today. Okay. And that is very difficult to see some of the, the colonial buildings, like this one where in the first engineer was occupying here. Okay. Right? Yes. I'm sorry about that. No, it's okay. Today, the place is divided into different people. Okay. Here, you will see Brigadier Ajong Singh Smith, who have been a president of this country for only one year. Then they go say the face out of the railway, and then people were saying that the railway is not economical to the government era, and so they should face it out and come up with another road network transportation, which were the double-decker buses. Okay. And finally, they faced out the way 1975. But the main thing was that it was not economical to the government. Okay. Ended up with Seca Stevens. Okay. Seca Stevens. Seca Stevens. And uh, this, this uh, tipping wagon and that, the coal which they were using for the operation of the trains before, they were having two types of engine here. They have a steam locomotive engine, the one that used coal and okay. a diesel. Okay. And the coal which they were using was a coal mined in UK. They brought it in Sarah Lunia by ships down the key there and they used these tipping wagons to okay. collect the coal from down the key into the depot here. Okay. As you could see them here with the USAP, WSAP. Okay. And that all the activities of the way was done in Klein Town here. Clientown. With a different, different technology, employing thousands of people carrying the operation of the railway. As you could see here, what was here in the colonial days, okay. some of the workshops, some of the skills that people are learning here, right? Okay. And then we we'll have the most important code that carries the message of the railway here, uh, which is the rural codes. As you could see it here. The this, what? The rural codes. Rural codes. A code built for the rest of the Queen. Following okay. independence in 1961, okay. when the, the Queen visited the country, Sarah Leone. Okay. But uh, she never used the trains. The visit went ahead, but she did not use the, the trains. Train. And then okay, so this was built for the, for the Queen, Queen yes. when she was to visit Sarah, to visit Sarah, Leone. Sarah Leone. But she came and she never came, used she it. She never used it, yes. That's the thing. She Africa. never used it. So let's come in. Let's come in. And then uh, you will see the photo of the Queen during our visit, 1961. Mm -hmm. And this uh, Prime Minister, Sarah Milton Magai, okay. in that day. And there's a balcony there wherein the Queen should have stand. Um, as I said, 
You are the queen today. Yes. You are here to bring in the operation of Ruri back in Sierra Leone. Yes. Visiting Sierra Leone, saying anything about the Ruri concerning the railway in Sierra Leone. We are here to bring the railway. Yes. The queen is here. Uh, the queen is here. <laughs> Hello, good people of Sierra Leone and Africa. Yeah. We're here to bring you good tidings. Yeah. To say peace and development to the continent of Africa, Africa. and the country of Sierra Leone. Oh my God, I take my seat, seat now. Take your seat now. <laughs> the queen and the prince is here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, this is how Mexico, okay. how it was in 2004 before the restoration. We will see here. And uh, when, when we formed the museum in 2004, mm -hmm. just after the restoration, uh, we wrote a letter to the Queen as a birthday gift. Okay. As you could see some of the photos, mm -hmm. we sent it to her, telling her that the coach which was built for a visit uh -huh. in Saralu is here still in Saralu. And this was the reply that he sent for us. Okay. So you can see it. Okay. Okay. So, so, uh, you could say the engines, as I said just now, Yes. During the operation of the trains in this country, they were using two types of engines. Mm -hmm. They have the diesel engines okay. and the steam locomotive engines. Okay. As you could see, the diesel. Okay, this, this, this is the, the, look, the engine the, that the engine used, that they uh, used yeah, to drive the trains before. Okay. And this, this is a Cardinal engine, eight in line. Okay. As you could see it. Uh, but I'm sorry, few parts of this engine missing. We are on it with the friends of the museum and the government of Sierra Leone to, to set find this thing back, yes, uh, to get it back on the track to do an exhibition at the end of the month. Maybe when we have like a 500 or 200 or 300 people visiting or like school visiting, okay. we'll just have a ride within this territory here okay. for us just to see how these things we are operating before. Okay. Uh, up there, we will see the driver's cabin here. Driver's cabin? Yeah, this is the cabin. This is the driver's cabin. You can come in if you don't mind. You can come in and drive the Saralun train. Okay. Let's go in and see. Oh. <laughs> so. You could see the gear positions. This we are the gear positions here. Okay. This we are the gear position. This was a, a brake during its operating time. Okay. And this is sit here for the driver. Okay. So you could sit down. The driver will sit here. Sit here and using these gates. Okay. This, uh, these are the gauges to show if the engine is ready. Okay. And this we are the gears that they use. All right. Interesting. Yeah. So be careful, please. When coming down, please yeah. take your time. <coughs> Be careful, please. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, this is another powerful engine with Sabaya Garat engine. Okay. It was a steam engine before. Okay. But it was later converted to oil firing articulated. Okay. It used burn oil at the end of the trains. Okay. That's why, if you have a look there, we see the tank when it was converted from coal to oil. Okay. See the tank here. And when it was in operation as a steam engine, uh, this is the driver's cabin. You see. Okay. And there's the boiler here, and here is the water tank, right? Okay. And that's the boiler there. Okay, that's the water tank there. Okay. It's your question. All right. Right? And uh, this was a repairing set. I'm sorry for this pit here. Be yeah. careful. Yeah. Yes. If, the engine, if anything happens with the engine, either the coach is here that they be in to be repaired. The mechanics will be underneath and seen. The, the underneath of the engine okay. if there's any problem to solve they sort it out okay. and um, let's just have a look here quickly with the steam engine um, you could see the operation of the steam engine here as you could see uh, those empty tubes there sucks the smoke this one that you see yes they sucks the smoke from the firebox onto the chimney there. Okay. While there are these pipes with the dot that you see contains water to get the steam mm -hmm. because it is heat that generates this engine to move. And that I'm sorry for these racks that you see here. <laughs> <laughs> they will have not been here. Hmm. But to do this just to bring in the high authorities' attention to bring in these things back in operation. Yes. When they resort in the museum, we we'll put some fire here, we'll light, soft the door and see now the smoke is troubling. Okay. And that will narrate the story of the railway just okay. to bring them back in operation. Okay. And now let's see how the operation of the, this engine was going on during its time. Um, you can come in, come in, be careful, please, mind you. Okay. This engine has been here on to, to for something years. Wow. I'm sorry about that, okay? Okay. Now, 
the operation of this engine was done by two people in those days. Mm -hmm. You have the fireman and the driver. Okay. When the engine has a trip, it is here that they put the coal that they use. Okay. This we are the coal bone guys, both sides here and here. Mm, yeah. Yes. And that the fireman will swab the coal from here into the firebox here. Right. Light with fire and sort this doors. I'm sorry, I'm not in good order. Mm. When everything got fire, the driver will simply have a look at some of the gauges. I'm sure we'll miss most of them here. To know if the engine is ready to move. Okay. And then this is the regulator. Okay. Regulate the engine and that heat will travel to raise the pistons and then the engine will go like this. But I'm sorry, many features of this yes, engine. Yes, it's actually I'm sorry old. about that. All right. Let us move down. <coughs> so, uh, let's wrap up here quickly. And since um, all the rolling stocks, uh, this was a pay coat. Pay coat. Pay coat. It was this coat that they used before, carry money, pay workers of the railway at the end of the month. Okay. That's why if you have a look at the side here, we'll see it. It's a pay coat. It's a pay well coach. sightseeing coat. Pay coat. Yes, be careful. They are, that yes. their place. That one. So, uh, this is the goods were gone. Goods were gone. Goods were gone. It was this that was responsible for the produce of the farmers with their rentable goods from the, from the villages to the city to the marketplaces to the warehouses. Mm -hmm. It carries 13 tons of goods. Hello Sierra Leoneans, <laughs> hello Africans. I'm here to fix the problem with this train and to get it back moving. Thank you. Let's go down. Okay. Yeah. Be careful, please. Be careful. I will fix it. Yes, you will do. It's going to sell. You have <laughs> a lot of experience that you have. Yes. Yeah. I'm uh, experienced yes, in, in fixing in trains. Fixing trains, yes. And this was the inspector's car before. Okay, inspector's it was, car. Yes, this was, it was this that they used to see the rail, to tour the rail, if there's any problem within the track. Okay. And it's driving both sides, as you see, it drive that way and that way. Okay. As you can see the foot pedals okay. went up and down. So, this coaches with the Sierra Leone flag, they were the independent coaches. This green one that you see. Yes. But we see the doors because of the restriction inside, it's very difficult. And so we don't want visitors to enjoy themselves there. Okay. Uh, this is another engine which is aligned to start. It's a diesel engine. Diesel it's this, engine. Yeah, yeah, it's the same like that one there. And this is the operation of a uh, cell. So, as you see, all of these rolling stores came from UK. UK. Yes, yeah, from UK to Australia. This is the operation of the, 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 the train, right. In those days, they were having a single track okay. running the railway from here to Pendemu. Okay. And have, within that, they have the stations. We are in the station master, we made a communication with him here. And there's a staff here to clear the traffic of the road. And that, let's take an example like one, one engine is coming from uh, up country, another one is moving from in the city here to up country. Mm -hmm. They have certain stations where they meet and then. This they do this exercise to clear the road, okay. right? As you could see, they are, here are the, the tokens. These are the tokens, tokens. here, as you could see, yes, to have the clearance of the road with the driver. As you could see them here, okay. these we are the tokens. This this is the shovel for the operation of the steam engine, okay. and this is the coal for the fireman. Okay. This is the logo where the engine came from. So this we are the signal lamps, the guide vans lamp they use in the operation of the railway before as you can see them here, okay. okay, with two aspects, red and white. White is showing the, the head of the train, and uh, the back is red, so you can see. And uh, this are the clock, the station clocks that they used before, and that okay. is the oldest engine in the collection here, built 1915, it's called Nelly. Nelly. And yes, it is also a steam engine, okay. right. And we have the interesting something here, which is called the pump trolley. Pump trolley. Yes. Uh, uh, this track was set by the staff in the rural museum here. Okay. And then a school uh, visit maybe, or school children, when they visit, they will have a ride when playing it's... on this pump trolley, right? Okay. But when we found the museum in 2004, we met this pump trolley in a scrap yard, deliberately cut into four pieces. We fight for it there, and we brought it down here. And that will do some welding on it. 
right? But I'm sorry, we missed the foot rest here. Okay. This is the foot rest. We missed it. Okay. Okay? Okay. And the operation of this pump toy was done by four people. You can manage to come up here. Come up, come up, come up. You can step up here. Step up here. Step here and climb up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that, please. Oh, Just come up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, the operation was done by four people. Okay. Two standing there, two here, three we sit down there as per senior, and then pumping the handles up and down, up and down to carry its movement. You see? Don't worry about that. Let's go. It's the most interesting something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs> The operation is just by pumping the handle up and down, up and down, up and down to carry movement of it. Okay, let's go back. Just by pumping the handle up and down. So I can jump. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, well, sorry, sorry. Thank you. I'm yeah, busy than somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. So, I have some postcards down there we did use in the colonial days. Okay. Yes. Here there are postcards that you could see, and you see the photo of Nelly. Uh, as you could see, these were the postcards that they used before. Okay. She's seen them in the colonial days. Okay. These were the postcards. Yeah that they used before. Okay. Okay. And this is our education area. Right. Okay. When there is a school visit here, it's here that we exercise with the school children that are visiting us. Okay. Giving them some skeletons. They give us different, different color. At the end of the exercise, we'll place the first person at the bulletin board there. Yeah? Okay. We we'll see, let's come here and see. We we'll have a bulletin board here, wearing we will choose the first person. Same. This is our school bulletin board. Okay. So just after the exercise, we'll place the first person here just to encourage the students yes. visiting the middle. Okay. Maybe amongst them in the future, there will be some of them who will be thinking of bringing Less these things back. back in this country. Definitely. It's and possible. there we see the twice change for them. Okay. We'll have a gift shop there. Gift shop. We'll have our offices here. It's the clerk office. You will see our gift shop there. Okay. This is a... So, again, you are most heartily welcome. Thank I you. I thank you so much for visiting our museum. Thank you. And I would like you to help us carry the message far and wide. Definitely. We are looking forward to see others visiting the museum. Definitely. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the visit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for taking me around and explaining everything to me. Okay. I enjoyed this session. And I'm sure everyone watching, you've also enjoyed it as well. Yeah. If you have, drop a comment. What do you think? Um, would you like to visit Sierra Leone? And definitely, would you like to come here? I want to know. Drop a comment. And when you do come, let me know. Drop a comment. You guys share the video and, you know, just do all the good things. Most importantly, if you've not subscribed, click on the subscribe button, tap on the bell, and definitely share this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>